Yes, the net riders, the almighty minutes before meeting John Chambers, were sitting at the lobby of the EBC, waiting for the ride to John Chambers' office. We've reached the fifth floor. We're now on our way to Mr. Chambers' office. And here we are, up on the fifth floor at John Chambers' office area. So we've moved from the lobby. We are now up on the fifth floor. 10,000 people, and, and to be the 15 winners from that, it says an awful lot about your talent, your direction. Uh, it also gives you a chance to really think about how do you take this and utilize the skills that you learn the rest of your life, whether you stay in networking or whether you use networking skills in terms of how it changes businesses. So I just want to say on behalf of all of Cisco, but it's place to be from your CEO, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you, congratulations. Other than a, a good technical background, what do you feel is a, a good asset for a young uh, adult breaking into the IT industry to succeed in the IT industry? I think the market is changing, and IT, the strongest thing before was to be really good techie. And today, if you can be a really good techie and really understand how the technology applies to changing business or changing government process, that is key. So I think it's combining the technology with the process change uh, makes for a very good combination. It's likely what you learn today, you're going to be in different elements within Cisco or within other organizations. So learning how to learn well, I think, is really Number one. <laughs> well, you know, on the one hand, it's a little bit what I just asked you all to do. Uh, it's a tremendous excitement to be number one, and it's a great honor, but actually we spend more time saying how we stay on top, and let's not mess up. Okay, so uh, it feels good as a team, but it feels good as a team not just to be number one from a revenue perspective or number one in the industry, but we won the top corporate social responsibility award in America from the government just last month, and uh, eight years ago we won it from the government uh, under a different sense, neat, but there's nothing like having been at an IBM who, when I got there, was already failing, and it took them 20 years to recover, or being at a Wang Laboratories. Dr. Ann Wang was the smartest man I've ever met in my life, and he led our company for 30 years, never missing, and he missed when we didn't make a transition from the mini computer business to the PC, and 37,000 people were out of jobs. So, being at the company, I know other companies have done that before, so it's kind of exciting. Customer success, market transition, quality, clean, etc. But on the global culture in general, we said, and we said this 17 years in learners we have, and there's probably not been a company that has consistently changed the culture as much. You know, there's always the company of the moment in Apple, where we're not perfect, we're like a family, but we are a family. And I know every illness of every employee, their spouse, or their children in the whole company, uh, and we take care of them, uh, and they take care of us. So, I mean, there's some things that were very leading edge, cutting edge, such as organization structure, innovation. There's some others that we have some basic values that really anchor us in where we're going, treating people like we like we treated ourselves, high integrity, on our bench 10 years ago, not two years ago, 
uh, and watching out for ourselves like a family. So let's get a picture together. Everybody videotaping Moffett Field where the Hubble satellites are put together as we make our way to Google. <laughs>